China is currently digging a six mile deep hole straight into the earth and the internet is going nuts. Yeah, and guess what, Andrew? Different corners of the internet feel differently about it. Wow. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. We're about to break it down. Silly to serious. I guess this would be more in the serious lane in the sense that some people are having some intense reactions. You know, one side of the internet is like, I don't trust them. China's going to release the Kaijus and the Gojira and the COVID 6,000 on us. There's another side that's like, hmm, good luck to China. This is a very difficult and expensive scientific undertaking. Please share the results. It may be fascinating. And other people are like, man, they're digging holes over there. We can't even dig holes over here anymore. Digging holes makes a country strong. I want to be strong. And then China's just over there like, yeah, you know, I noticed that the Russians, they drilled a very deep hole. And the Americans, they like to drill all the time. And also for oil in the Middle East, they're also drilling very deep holes. But when China does it, nobody likes it. Why is that? Yeah, everybody said they don't trust me, but I want to just dig a hole too. Um, let's get in the comment section. Somebody said, don't worry, guys. They won't get close to six miles deep. Yeah, because with those cheap Chinese drill bits that bought off Wish.com or AliExpress, mm -hmm. those things will probably start melting at about two, three miles deep under the Earth's core. You know what's funny? Everybody disses on the cheap products that China makes, but do you know how much machinery and it in engineering it took to even build the machines to produce all those toys those factories <laughs> look ridiculous right you're saying you have to build an advanced factory just to build cheap oem stuff for amazon yes somebody said uh china is a greedy country if that area decides to explode and cause lava to spew out and magma to overflow that country then so be it they yeah. brought it on themselves <laughs> dang that's so, harsh but the logic behind this comment is that china is doing it in china china is not drilling a hole in alaska or in canada or buying out some sort of like small country right no yeah. it's just drilling holes in the land that china owns it's almost like a neighborhood away you see somebody like uh demolishing their home or like having a barbecue and then you're like why they're doing a barbecue, man. I'm going to call the cops. Somebody said uh, this is more of like, I guess, the culturally relativist global history approach. Somebody said, yes, China is greedy. In fact, all big countries are greedy. But let's not act like the U.S. isn't the greediest country of them all. Mm. Look at the dominance that it had over the past 200 years. You think it just happened to happen that way? Or do you think was it driven by greed? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you look at the man in the mirror, just like MJ said. Somebody said, yeah, this is super late, guys. The Europeans, Europeans came over to the Americas, drilled the continent dry, took up a new accent, and then took the entire region for themselves and just rebranded it. So obviously, it, what, this is referring to what the British colonizing America and then taking it over from the Native Americans and stuff like that. Right, and of course, there's all this stuff about, you know, running the gas pipelines or the oil pipelines over sacred Native American lands and all that mm. stuff. Um, Andrew, somebody said, you know, it's just both cringe guys all superpowers are bad powers what do you think about this argument this is almost like a sort of the criticism of capitalism you know this is just a criticism of dominance in general yeah i think every superpower its own citizens generally is are on their team uh so and then you're always going to look at every other rising superpower uh with a skeptical eye because why what it because anytime that superpower is doing something that could potentially sound like it could give itself an advantage, you're going to be like, ah, oh, stop it. Right, that's evil. But if I do it, then it's smart. Who knows, guys? Of course, everybody thinks they have the uh, moral imperative and the moral upper hand. This Chinese guy was like, yeah, man, just because China is doing it, you think it is so bad. By hating China, it makes you feel so cool about yourself, right? But if you're any Western European country is doing it, or even Japan, you will say it's amazing. But when we do it, it is so bad. Right. Uh, and I think that this is always the thing that because... Um, China uh, doesn't have a very good soft power image, right? Even though, in my opinion, generally, it doesn't do what... It doesn't do enough bad things for people... For, for considering the things people say about it. Yeah, and I think it's because, like, the British Empire or America, they did all their bad things. Well, technically, depending on what country you live in, you still think they're doing very bad things. But I guess on a global scale... Uh, they did their bad things like years ago. 
50, so, 60, so 70, now, even whatever. I mean, so now America's kind of in this like reform, like, no, I'm the good guy. Now. Right, right. You're you mean? Saying, I, uh, I chilled uh, out, dude. Andrew, you, you know, in Western Europe, they're like, oh, no, guys, we are friends. I love us. We are not that. We don't do bad things. Maybe, yeah, of course, 100, 200, 300 years ago. We did some very bad things, yeah. but that was my great great grandfather. Me, I am a liberal. Guys, we're chill, dude. Look at China. China's getting all aggy and and kind of aggressive now, dude. Um, someone said communist atheist China is trying to find out exactly where hell is. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Somebody says they're gonna unleash a Balrog from Lord of the Rings on accident, or a Godzilla, or what if they find Godzilla first, and whoever finds Godzilla first gets to train Godzilla because Godzilla becomes their pet, and then. They're going to train Godzilla to go against us. Mm. Um, of course, this was went back to another argument about destroying the environment. Are there any sort of environmental consequences? And then all of a sudden, all these geology majors kind of get into the chat and stuff like that. And they're like, you know, as a geology major, I think this is really exciting. It could yield some very interesting studies beyond what the Russians did not find. But uh, as a regular person, I could see from a conspiracy side why they're scared. Right. Um, all right. I, I, I just want to bring up this one fact that I just found is that David, uh, what if what if China had done instead of drilling a six mile hole into the earth, they were trying to go to the deepest part of the ocean? Do you think it'd be as controversial? It'd right, because the, deep, the deepest part of the Mariana Trenches is still deeper than six miles yeah, deep. Yeah, it's about seven miles deep. So right. the ocean is deeper than this hole that they're drilling. Now, now you could say, oh, the ocean is already there, so it's not bad. But um, yeah, I mean, they're just drilling a hole as deep as like, the deep part of the I just basically. know that if they went down to the bottom of the Mariana Trenches, they are eating whatever they find. And probably if the Chinese dig six or seven miles deep, I know that they're throwing whatever spices they find underneath the Earth's core onto some young row. Yeah, you know, I heard that the isopods over at the five mile deep section or extra tasty. Yeah, the, the, the shell is extra hard to, for the water pressure. It's yeah, delicious. But the meat is very succulent because the water is so cold. I mean, I think that the pro-green era argument, I could totally see it making more sense because right now, Andrew, we're sort of in a time where people want to rightfully protect the Amazon rainforest. They're against drilling holes in Mother Earth, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'll, I'll give them that, that definitely drilling a hole that deep is like unnatural. But you do have to dig holes to do anything, to plant trees. But I, I guess I would say that uh, I don't know what other reasons China is doing it for, but definitely if they find anything out, like I guess that could benefit the world, I hope that yeah, they're going to share Yeah, and push technology it. forward, yeah, make fossil fuel uh, injection methods more efficient or whatever. You know, you never know, man. That's the whole purpose, in my opinion. And people are going to be like, you're Chinese, so you're boss uh, of scientific research and pushing like, just the technology of mankind forward. Sometimes you spend a lot of money. Sometimes it works. Sometimes you spend a lot of money and it doesn't work. Yeah. And trust me, if they find anything that's dangerous, it's going to ruin China first before it ruins the rest of the world. And of course, Andrew, the last sort of angle of arguments and comments that I read kind of came from the man. They get to dig deep holes over there. I remember a time when America was great and we used to dig deep holes. Now we're just arguing over syllabilic things like pronouns and all this and that. We can't even dig holes anymore. Mm -hmm. We're falling behind. I want to dig holes. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I guess, David, overall, to sum it up, it's kind of like, listen, Russia right now with the, what, the Cora, the Cora super deep borehole is actually currently the deepest hole that was ever dug. Right. They sort of shut that project down, right? I think they ran out of funding twice or something. Yeah. The, yes. You know, we, we didn't really find anything interesting down there. Uh, and then, like... Uh, Obviously, to drill oil, they drill really deep, too. So I guess, like, it's just another hole, but it's happening on Chinese soil. So I think, I don't I don't know why people have anything to worry. It's not like they're trying to drill a hole to go underneath Taiwan because they would be drilling that hole in Fujian, which is a lot closer to Taiwan, right. than Xinjiang, which is, like, on the other end of China. I think that, ultimately, a lot of people think a lot about China nowadays, but they really actually don't understand much. They haven't been there. They don't you know, no very, I'm not saying I'm a 10 out of 10 expert, but I know a lot more than a average person does. Mm, and yeah. I just think that they're like logical brain knows that there's like some legitimacy to these things that just like any country has legitimate claims to doing anything. But then their emotional side is like overriding that. Right. Yeah. And no, uh, I, mean, I just like think there's this general narrative in the West right now 
of like China's ruining everything. And some people feel that way because they don't want to focus on our internal issues that almost seem unsolvable, whether that's like this issue or that issue gun, you know what I mean? Like just anything in the West right now, particularly America feels like it, it's like at a stalemate. Yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of people are directing their attention and their negative energy towards China. Now, I'll give you this. As much as they make those comments on the internet, it's true that they're, as long as they don't attack any Chinese people, I guess the hate of the internet comments doesn't really turn into anything, right. but it definitely, I would say for their own life, it doesn't help where they're getting riled up about something that's happening in China that has nothing, that's not hurting anybody. I mean, drilling, drilling, drilling a hole. Trust me, if anybody gets hurt from drilling that hole, it's going to be Chinese people who are drilling that hole. Yeah, it's really interesting. Like, I know there was this other article I was going to cover today, Andrew, about how China has half of the world's advanced AI surveillance cameras mm. in mainland China. And then it's weird because the comments are so split because other people are like, this is a dystopian state. And then somebody goes, but they have a way lower crime rate than us and like way less people like randomly killing it and robbing each other. And then it kind of goes back to here, but they're trying to bring that dystopian future over here. Do you want a social credit score? And then people are like, but then their system's just working and our mm. system's breaking down. So it's just, it's this constant like back and forth, right? Yeah. I don't know, guys. We're going to wrap it up right there. You guys let us know in the comments down below what you think. Oh, uh, why do you think China is drilling this hole? And are Americans just too caught up with what China is doing in China? Or is it true that those, that what China is doing in China still matters and that we should always keep an eye on it and, and you know, Think about it. I guess yeah, you let me let, know. Let us know what you think in the comments section. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of opinions. Keep it civil. Until next time, we the Hop Hop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.